Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be solving a problem uh, with a parameter. Uh, so A is a given number here and we're supposed to solve for X. So if you would like to just think about this problem, you can pause the video here because I'm going to start the solution. Okay, so let's see how we can tackle this problem. Uh, we are supposed to solve for x, but it's a cubic equation. And as you know, the cubic formula is quite complicated. If uh, we were given a quadratic equation, we would probably attempt it. But with the cubic, it's going to be complicated. So what can we do then? Well, uh, this is a kind of special type of equation where we can actually write this as a quadratic in A. So if you go ahead and do this, I'm going to start with the A squared. And then I'm going to put the AX squared and A together. So we've taken care of this, this, and this, right? And then what we have left is X cubed minus X. And this is all going to equal zero. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as a quadratic in A so that I can use the quadratic formula. Let's see how we can handle this. Uh, let's arrange the terms that have A in them. So this is going to be x squared plus 1 times the quantity a and then x cubed minus x is just going to be our constant in this case okay so we're going to treat x cubed minus x as a constant and a as the variable okay so we can go ahead and write down the quadratic formula since it's not it doesn't seem factorable at least right so we can go ahead and write down a equals negative b remember the formula this is going to be negative of x squared plus 1 and then we will get plus minus the square root of the discriminant which is b squared minus 4ac b is x squared plus 1 in this case right so i'm going to go ahead and write down x squared plus 1 squared minus 4a a is the coefficient of a squared in this case so which would be 1 so 4 b squared minus 4ac but a is 1 so c is going to be x cubed minus x and i'm just using the quadratic formula all divided by 2 times a which is 2 okay so now uh, let's see how we can simplify this expression if i can go ahead and expand it inside the radical so i'm going to be getting well this is not going to change so i can just go ahead and expand it like this like distribute the negative plus minus Let's see what we can do here. I have the a plus b quantity squared. That's going to give me x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1 minus 4x cubed plus 4x. Okay? And then we're going to be dividing this all of this by 2. Okay. Now, I do have an expression inside the radical which I need to simplify. Let's see how we can simplify this. So let me go ahead and write it down in standard form, which is x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. Square root of that divided by 2. Okay. Now, the expression inside the radical kind of looks complicated, but what we can do is we can try to write it as a perfect square, right? Uh, because if, if it's a perfect square, then I can just go ahead and square root it. Okay, so how can I make it a perfect square? So here's my approach for this problem. I'm just going to go ahead and write this. x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 as a perfect square. And in this case, um, I have a several different, uh, like I have couple different methods here um, I can go ahead and just try to guess it like I can say hey could this be because of this negative term here x squared minus x plus one quantity squared possibly now let's see how this goes and then I can try it and if that doesn't work I can just go ahead and try an alternative like uh, well, I know that it's not uh, going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1 quantity squared because we know that that would be itself a perfect square, but this is not a perfect fourth power. So what I can try to do here is maybe 
try an alternative like this one. This might work because of the fours and the twos. And again, these are all guesses. And obviously there's another method uh, which you can write this as um, x squared. So here's my other approach. Let me go ahead and share that with you guys. I can say, hey, what about, uh, what if this is something like this? Since the constant term is one, I know that it's gonna be plus one or minus one. So I can also go ahead and uh, go off of this. It's obviously better than trying to guess what it is, but you know what? I'm just curious and I'm gonna expand the second one because I feel like this is gonna be either the solution or it's gonna bring us real close. Okay, let's go ahead and expand this by using the formula for a plus b plus c quantity squared. Uh, so it's gonna give me x to the fourth plus four x squared plus one. And then I have plus two times the quantity. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply these pairwise. This, these two is gonna give me two x cubed. The first and the third is gonna give me minus x squared. And second and the third is gonna give me minus two x. Let's go ahead and expand this and see what we get from here. Hopefully we'll get something nice. Plus four x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x. So what does this tell you? Well, this tells you that uh, you're gonna be getting x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus one. So we actually got something nice. And by the way, there are no negative terms, which is quite surprising, right? Well, I think I made a mistake here. So yeah, this is supposed to be negative 4x, I'm sorry about that. So negative 4x, meaning that I'm gonna be having a negative 4x here. If you look at my expression, mm, I didn't quite get that, but notice that x cubed and x are gonna actually switch signs. So what about I try the following? Maybe I can uh, go ahead and try this. This might work, right? Let me go ahead and square this. And this should give me x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 1 plus 2 times the quantity negative 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x. Let's go ahead and expand this. Let's see what happens. x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 1 minus 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x. If I arrange this and combine like terms, I'm going to be getting x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 2x squared, plus 4x, plus 1. And bingo, we got our expression, right? Awesome. So this one is the same as this one. Therefore, uh, this is the correct way of factoring it, okay? So if you go back to our expression here, I'm going to be writing, let me go ahead and change colors here. So I'm going to be having a equals negative x squared minus 1 plus minus the square root of this expression squared, which is x squared minus 2x minus 1 squared. Obviously, square root is going to take care of that divided by 2. And if I continue here, this is a perfect square, square rooted, so it should be the absolute value of x squared minus 2x minus 1. But the plus minus is going to take care of that, so I can go ahead and write it down like this. Plus minus x squared minus 2x minus 1 over 2. Now, is I think this is a good time for me to go ahead and uh, split this up into two solutions. And let's see what happens from there. If I go with the positive first, I'm going to be getting this expression. And we can simplify this, obviously. I'm sorry, I just forgot to erase the minus sign. I'm going with the positive version. So the x squared cancels out, which is kind of nice. And I get a equals negative 2x minus 2 divided by 2, meaning that a equals negative x minus 1. This is obviously going to be one of the solutions, which is nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the negative route. Let me go ahead and do that here. Let's change colors here. And let's see, actually, that's not a good choice. Maybe this one. Okay, let's see what happens with the minus version. And uh, so I'm going to be picking it up from here, which means a equals, do I erase something there? 
negative x squared minus 1. I'm going to negate everything inside the parentheses because I'm distributing the negative 1. And this is what I'm going to be getting from here. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, we have the negative 1 and the positive 1 cancel out. This gives me a equals negative 2x squared plus 2x over 2, which nicely simplifies as negative x squared plus x. Now, you might be asking, well, we were not solving for a, right? We were solving for x. So, but this only gives us in terms of a. That's fine. We're going to take care of that. But this is basically my second root for the quadratic. Since I'm dealing with a quadratic equation, then I'm going to have two solutions normally, right? Okay, now is the time to extract x from these expressions. Well, this one is going to be fairly easy because if I just go ahead and add x to both sides and subtract a, then I'm going to be getting x in terms of a. So this is going to be one of the solutions for x. And the other one is just going to take some work to do. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put everything on the same side. So it's going to give me x squared minus x plus a is equal to zero. Hey, this is a quadratic, so we can easily solve it, right? We still have an a, which is fine, but we can go ahead and write the quadratic formula one more time. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, which is 4a. And that divided by 2. And this is going to be my second solution. So I basically have two solutions, okay? And this will be one of them, and the other one is going to be this one. So that's going to be end of it. I hope you liked the video, you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Have a good one.